Welcome to my channel Tech Tips. In today's video, I will showcase you how to configure the additional Ethernet ports on the IAP. So some of the Aruba IAPs or RAPs, okay, or you can say it as an in-room AP or a hospitality AP, it comes with the additional three or four Ethernet ports, okay. And these Ethernet ports you can plug like uh, here you can see E E E zero E one and E E2 are the three Ethernet ports available on the RAP and here you can see some four Ethernet ports are available on the in-room APs. See out of these three Ethernet port one will work as an input and out of these two Ethernet port one of the Ethernet port you can still connect some uh, uh, laptop uh, Ethernet port or you can connect to any printer and one of the third Ethernet port it will act as a PoE port or PoE output okay here you can connect uh, another IAP also to the network or a small P IP camera or you can connect a small IP phone also to the network so what happens the device will get the power from the AP itself there is no need to give a separate power supply to the uh, powered on device in the same way so this is the hospitality AP the first port it will be used as uh, for the um, bypass for the telephone connection and the remaining two you can connect any networking device it can be a, a wired laptop port or it can be a any printer or any scanner to the network and the last port which is indicated in the red it will work as a poe output and here you can connect any new ap or you can connect any ip phone also or ip telephony or ip camera so now I'll showcase you how to configure the additional Ethernet ports. Log into the IAP with the username and password admin admin. This is the dashboard of the IAP. Go to the option more. Here you can see the option called as a wired. In the wired, you create a new profile. Click on the new. You can give as a test as a name. And you can give a role as an employee or can be a guest also. Okay, you can click on the advanced option PO enabled. So if you disable this, then your port will only give the IP address to the client, but it cannot be powered on. So we enable the PoE port so that uh, any IP devices can be powered on also from this uh, AP port. Then administrate will be up only. Then your speed, okay, it depends on your client capacity. So if you keep it auto, it will auto negotiate the ports. Content filtering, you keep it disabled. Click on the next. So how the user will get the IP address? If you keep it on the trunk, you need to define the VLAN here. If you keep it on the access, I will define the. It, you can give it as a how the client will get IP address. It can be a virtual controller or a network assigned. If you give it as a virtual controller, the client will get IP address from IAP. If you give it as a network assigned, the client will get IP address from the network. So here for demo purpose, I'll give it as a one. Click on the next. So we don't require any MAC authentication or dot one next authentication. Click next. Security also will keep it as a unrestricted. I'll finish the configuration. Once you finish the configuration, there's a profile test is already available. You need to just map this profile to the Ethernet port. Okay, I'm just mapping this. So now all the ports has been mapped. I just save the configuration. Now for the testing purpose, the output of the IAP, I am connecting to the one CAT6 cable and I am connecting this to the laptop. Okay, to check whether we are getting the IP address or not.
so DHCP is already enabled okay meanwhile I'll again look, go back and I'll click on the wired Now you can see the port 2 is we have given as a profile as a 0 to now we have connected one device with the Mac 18 dot uh, and IP address is it got as a 169.254 and OS so here I'll again showcase you so it's just I think it's trying to get the IP address Yes, it got connected. Now you can see it got IP address. Okay, so now you can see there is a laptop by the Malik Arjun. It has got IP address 192.168.0.168, and this is the AP MAC address connected on the 0 0.2. Like this, now you can connect multiple ports on the IAP. Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, like and comment on the video.